Hello, my name is Johan from Restoration.bike and in this video I'm going to show you how to make your brakes more responsive. And in this case we're talking about V-brakes on an old uh, Cannondale mountain bike. If you like this video be sure to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. So let's get started. Uh, adjusting uh, one requirement for making your brakes more responsive is that the rims uh, of the wheels should be true. If they're not true, uh, you can never have uh, really responsive brakes because they will start to rub. The first step is to put the barrel adjuster all the way in. When it's in, you need to rotate it one rotation outwards again. The barrel adjuster is for making fine-tuning uh, fine the adjustment for the brakes. I basically never use it. And after you've done that, the next step is to loosen this nut on one of the brake arms. So it releases the brake cable and then to press the brake arms inwards, pull the brake cable all the way through and then releasing just a bit of tension. So the brake cable moves backward around four to five millimeters. That means that on either side of the brake arm, uh, with respect to the rim, you have like two millimeter window. Then tester brakes, you can see here that the left brake arm has a bit more tension to it. Um, so it actually pushes the right brake arm against the rim. You can fix that by um, putting more tension on the spring which is on the inside of the brake arm and the idea is to make have both brake arms be symmetric when viewed from the front so neither of the brake arms will move the brake pads inwards and have them rub then simply test your brakes by rotating the wheel and see if they rub against the brake pads if that's not the case just put the cable inwards or not or just let leave it hanging and you're done